Good afternoon, it's Tony Hayes from Paranormal Investigation UK. Today's date is the 2nd of February 2022. All the twos. So, today we're looking at movie 359. Um, this is on the... Sorry, they were dated in August. This is actually the 7th of August. This is the second one that I'm doing in the... What we call the empty room. The one earlier um, was where this light went darker, then went lighter. There was this unusual booming sound for a couple of seconds, followed by a series of what sounded like voices. Um, I've actually put that report to me colleagues for let them to have a look at it. So it's quite an extensive uh, analysis that one yesterday. So I'm hoping get through a few more today um, this one as far as I remember is some form of light anomaly uh, let's see where this takes us right okay um, I've turned my volume up on the uh, Microphone amp, so let's have a listen through and make sure there's nothing in there. I think you've got to be careful with, with amplification, though. If you amp it enough, you will begin to hear stuff. Um, and this is the this is where it's questionable on the one that um, we reviewed yesterday, which was done a couple of hours. The catch was done a couple of hours before this particular one. You know, it could be somebody, you know, in, in the car park talking. And if the microphone's picked it up, you, if you amplify it enough, which is exactly what I did yesterday, uh, you're going to hear something. Right, okay. Um, uh, it looks inset basis, so what we'll do, there's no sound on there that's... Um, that I can hear. And I can figure. Okay. I think that's spider's web. Yeah, pretty common as spiders web that. Uh, so we'll go into video two, slow it down. Yeah, I know it's going upwards, but what you actually get with spiders webs, it must be how it's uh, how it produces them. You get this sort of image. Um, and strands of it. Uh, I should be able to find a Google Earth, um, Google Earth, Google image, not Google Earth. Um, okay, should be enough for the search to find us. There we go. You get this type of effect there. Um, where's it gone? Ah, there. A very noticeable there as well, isn't it? Yeah, this is very similar to what you have. With that. So, 
The reason why spider's webs come onto the cameras a lot is due to the heat of the camera itself. Um, they have a series of, depending on the size of the camera, some have allowed a dozen or so very small red um, infrared illuminators. Um, I, I'm not sure they come in, may only have a couple. That then projects the uh, visual light out, the infrared light. And because um, the spiders get attracted to the heat, because they know that's where insects will gather, we're forever cleaning the, um, the cameras in the, on this particular building. Uh, after when he sends them in, I can see the movement. So, you know, get clean the camera up. So, although it's difficult to uh, understand why this is going outwards. Um, you know, it could be that the spider's walking off and dragging it behind him or whatever. Or it could be off a fly or something. You just, you just don't know. Um, but I'm confident that um, that's a spider's web. Uh, there's no other explanation for that one. So what I'll do is I'll, I will actually save this. Because um, I quite often... Um, YouTube's up with different types of anomalies and give an explanation and it's just useful. And and those of you who are investigating this type of phenomenon, use Google, uh, Google, um, and, you know, Google search is your friend at times. So I'm going to debunk that. I'm actually going to, um, I will write and make a note of this um, just to say I've, I've looked at it because often with reports, if everything you, you, you're talking about yeah, is suggestive of paranormal, um, it's good to get all the stuff in there where people obviously realise you've gone into the detail and looked at stuff that definitely isn't it, um, paranormal and likewise um, recorded that as well. So hopefully that's useful to you. See you in the next one. Bye.